Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion To life, to life, Lechayim! Lechayim, Lechayim, to life! Life has a way of amusing us, blessing and bruising us. Drink Lechayim to life! I won't believe it, what's gotten into him? Couple virgin Kubelibres that turned out to be kinda slutty. Didn't. Hey, you do your experiments, I do mine. <laughs> The true hero doesn't seek adulation. He fights for right and justice simply because it's his nature. Penny's hooking up with her jerk of an ex-boyfriend, and I have indelible ink on my forehead. That's your badge of honor. You're a warrior's wound, if you will. Yeah, I was wrong. Minstrels will write songs about you. Great. There once was a brave lad named Leonard. With a fi fi fiddle dee dee. <laughs> he faced a fearsome giant while Raj just wanted to pee. <laughs> so, what do you think? I'm very tempted. I'm just not sure it's appropriate with my son's roommate. Normally, I'd feel the same way, but based on everything I've observed about us, I can't help but speculate we'd be very good together. True. I've had a similar observation. Certainly something I could never do with my husband. I was hesitant the first time I tried it, but... I experienced an unanticipated and remarkable release of endorphins. It's quite satisfying. I see what you're doing. You're appealing to the neuroscientific researcher in me. You see right through me, don't you? Soft kitty to me. Soft kitty is for when you're sick. You're not sick. Injured and drugged is a kind of sick. <laughs> Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Wait, wait. Let's sing it as a round. I'll start. <laughs> Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. So that's where you come in. I'll start over. <laughs> Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. <laughs> I've got all night, Sheldon. <laughs> Kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, 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 pur
ready. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Thanks, Shorty. I'll take it from here. All right. You people ready to have some fun? You have a basic understanding of differential calculus and at least one year of algebraic topology? Well, right, here come the jokes. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? To get to the same side. Bazinga! Right, and Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> Hello. I know you're out there. I can hear you metabolizing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. It looks like we have some academic dignitaries in the audience. Uh, Dr. Randall from the geology department, only man who's happy when they take his work for granted. But I'll show. <laughs> I've kid the geologists, of course, but it's only because I have no respect for the field. <laughs> Let's get serious for a moment. Why are we all here? Because we're scientists. And what do scientists study? The universe. And what's the universe made of? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium. Everybody! And iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium. Just the Asians! And lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium. Proxima Centauri's the nearest star. The celestial bodies that follow are Alpha Centauri A, Tolly, Barnard Star, Wolf 359. <laughs> Lalonde 21185, Sirius A, Sirius B, B L SETI, U V SETI, Ross 154, Ross 248. <laughs> Epsilon Iridani, Lock 9352, Ross 128, Procyon A. Oh, darn, that's wrong. <laughs> Z Aquarii A, E Z Aquarii B, E Z Aquarii C, Procyon A. Those are the stars that are nearest to me, tra la la and fiddle dee dee. I checked the app store. No one is doing handwriting recognition differential equation solving. Oh dear lord, shush. <laughs> what? You have so few good ideas, Leonard. And you're just gonna spill the beans in front of an outsider? <laughs> Sheldon, I don't think Penny cares about handwriting recognition based The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. She's not going to steal our idea. What idea? We're going to write now. The prairie sky is wide and high, deep in the heart okay, stop, stop. of Texas. <laughs> doing? Trying to contact your home planet? I'm practicing my pheromone. Oh. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen.
I open the chest. It's locked, but suddenly the door behind you slams shut and now the walls of the room start closing in. That's not good. My character and I both have claustrophobia. <laughs> Glowing letters appear on the chest that read, if squashed to death you wish not to be, sing of Svati Vaklav and his victory. What, who the hell is Svati Vaklav? Walls are getting closer. Oh boy, happy place, happy place. Wait, yeah, wait, Svati Vaklav was the Duke of Bohemia. You're 10 seconds away from getting crushed. Nine, Eight, what are we supposed to do? Seven, six... Wait, wait, wait. Svati Vaklov is better known as Good King Wenceslas from the beloved Victorian Christmas Carol. Never heard of it. Must be the one Christmas song not written by a Jewish guy. Uh, <laughs> three, two... Somebody sing the damn song! Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen <laughs> when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. The walls are getting slower. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When a poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel. The wall stop. You're safe. Well, that was amazing, children. How did you know that? Hey, it was simple. I combined a well-known historical fact about Bohemia with the memory of my grandparents, Mima and Pop Pop singing Christmas carols, while I sat in front of the fire and tried to build a high-energy particle accelerator out of Legos. Okay, continuing our quest. Yeah, that way. There's still four more verses. Yeah, you know, sing a song and not finish it. Hear the page and stand by me. Now, no stick telling. Yonder peasant, who is he? Where in what? His dwelling brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was. Who now will bless the poor? Shall yourselves find blessing? Better bum. <laughs> Done? I think the word you're looking for is bravo. How are you feeling? Good. A little claustrophobic. <laughs> well, let's set up the equipment. It'll help take your mind off of it. Miners often sang mining songs to keep their spirits up. Do you know any mining songs? Just the hits. <laughs> Where it's dark as a dungeon, and it's damp as the dew. That's pretty. Where the dangers are double, and the pleasures are few. Where the rain never falls, and the sun never shines. Yes, it's dark as a dungeon, way down in the mine. It's a little more bleak than I thought. <laughs> well, I pray when I'm dead and the ages shall roll, that my body will blacken and turn into coal. Getting kind of grim. <laughs> then I'll look from the door of my heavenly home and pity the miner that mines my poor bones. Okay, how about a little Miley Cyrus next? <laughs> Percussive shock you. <laughs> we will, we will percussive shock you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. <laughs> I have an eidetic memory. Sometimes it's a curse. <laughs>